Hi, hi, hi! Good morning, children, and welcome back to Circle Time. This month, we are going to talk about a children's tale or your bedtime stories. Who likes to read a story before go to bed? Yay! Oh, yes, that's good. And today, I have a story about a wooden puppet. That comes to life and goes on exciting adventures. Wow! Do you know who is he? His name is Pinocchio. Can you say Pinocchio? Yes, hello Pinocchio. How are you today? Have you ever heard about this story, children? Oh, okay. Do you want to listen again to the story? All right. I want to read a story for you. So open your eyes, open your ears, listen carefully. So once upon a time, there was an old man named Geppetto. Can you say hello, Grandpa Geppetto? He lived alone and longed for a child. So Grandpa Geppetto doesn't have a child. And one day, Geppetto made a puppet. He called it Pinocchio. Can you say puppet? Puppet is a toy. So can Pinocchio speak children? Can Pinocchio move? No, because Pinocchio is a puppet. Yes, and when Geppetto was sleeping, <sighs> the blue fairy appeared and cast a spell on the puppet. Obra Dobra, Pinocchio, wake up, wake up! Wow! When Geppetto awoke, he found that Pinocchio could speak and move. Pinocchio said, Hello, father! Wow! Grandpa Geppetto is so happy! Wow, Pinocchio! You can speak and move! You are my son! Wow! Grandpa was so happy! Geppetto loves and cared for Pinocchio like a son! On the next day, Pinocchio saw a puppet show and decided to join in. Actually, Pinocchio needs to go to the school. But Pinocchio didn't go to school. Pinocchio decided to join the puppet show. And because he did so well, he was paid five bronze coins. How many coins, children? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Five bronze coins. And then Pinocchio met a fox and a cat. This is a cat and this is a fox. The fox and the cat asked Pinocchio to plant the coin under a magic tree. Pinocchio, do you want to become rich? Do you want to buy anything that you like? So, you need to put your coin under a magic tree. Oh no, Pinocchio said. Hmm, let me think about it. But they were trying to trick Pinocchio. The cat and the fox, they are not good friends. They are bad friends. So they could take his money. The blue fairy sent a dog to scare them off. Off, off! Don't disturb Pinocchio! Go away! The fox and the cat ran away. The blue fairy asked Pinocchio, Pinocchio, why he had not been to school that day? And Pinocchio said, I've been to school. Uh-oh! Did Pinocchio go to school, children? No, Pinocchio lied. And look at the nose. His nose grew. If Pinocchio tell a lie, 
his nose will get longer. Yes, Pinocchio lied and his nose grew. The blue fairy asked Pinocchio again where he had put the bronze coins. And the second time, Pinocchio told a lie again and his nose grew even bigger. Oh, 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 Pinocchio. The blue fairy told Pinocchio that his nose would only shrink when he told the truth. And Pinocchio said, I'm sorry, blue fairy. I'm sorry. I promise I don't want to tell a lie again. I'm so sorry, blue fairy. Can you forgive me, please? And then the blue fairy said, Promise to me, Pinocchio, don't tell a lie anymore. Okay, blue fairy. Now, after that, children, Pinocchio went to the circus with some boys. And they ate lots of sweets. What can you see, children? Candies, yes, lollipop. So circus is a special kind of entertainment that has many different spectacular acts. And, oh no, what happened, children? Boys began to turn into donkeys. Now this one, this is the boy. And this is Pinocchio. Pinocchio only grew ears and a tail because he was made of wood. <laughs> I don't want to have these ears. And whose tail is this? Pinocchio was sad. He was thrown into the sea and his ears and tail fell off. Pinocchio said, Help me! Help me! Help me! Pinocchio was swallowed by a huge whale. So the huge whale came. Ho 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 ho! I want to help you, Pinocchio. Now you can go inside my mouth. Um. Oh no! Pinocchio was swallowed by a huge whale. Can you say whale? Yes. And do you know, children, inside the whale. Oh, Pinocchio met his father. His father was inside the whale too. This is Grandpa Geppetto. And finally, they built a raft and escaped. Pinocchio promised he wants to be a good boy. Pinocchio saved his father from a big storm. And... When they arrived home, the blue fairy waved her wand and turned Pinocchio into a real boy. Wow! Pinocchio and Grandpa Geppetto was very happy and they live happily ever after. Yes! So this is a story about Pinocchio. Do you like the story, children? I hope you like the story. And it's time to review Pinocchio's story. Number one, who made Pinocchio speak and move? Grandpa Geppetto, Blue Fairy, or Cat and Fox? Who made Pinocchio speak and move? The answer is... Blue Fairy! Yes, Blue Fairy! Number two! How many bronze coins was Pinocchio paid for the puppet show? Three or five? How many bronze coins? Check your answer. Yes, five bronze coins. Number three. What happened when Pinocchio lied? What happened, children? He turned into a donkey or his nose grew? Let's check your answer. Yes, his nose grew when Pinocchio lied. 
And now, what did Pinocchio eat at the circus? Sweets or fruits? What did Pinocchio eat at the circus? Yes, that's sweet. Pinocchio and friends ate lots of sweets. And the last one, children. What was Pinocchio swallowed by? A whale or a donkey? What was Pinocchio swallowed by? Let's check your answer. Yes, a whale. Um, yum, 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 yum. All right. Now it's time to take your paper and your pencil. I have four challenges for you. Pinocchio maze challenge. Can you help Geppetto find Pinocchio children? So this is Grandpa Geppetto. And this is Pinocchio. And what should you do? Follow the path and not go outside of the line. And if you reach the dead end like this, you can try different paths. So, are you ready, children? If you already say yes, 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 you may try for children with your finger. And after that, you can take your pencil. Is that you will try? Let's go up, 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 up. I can see the dead end, so let's go to the left. Up, going down, turn to the right, and ta da! Yes, I found Pinocchio. Now it's your turn, children. And if you are done, let's go to the second maze. Wow. Can you help Pinocchio find the donkey? This is Pinocchio. This is the donkey. All right. Now let's check together, children. If I move to the right, going down to the right, Oh no, this is the dead end. Let's try different paths. Go down, to the right, down to the left, down to the right, down to the right, up to the left, yes, to the right, up to the right, down, go to the left, down, right, oh, I can find the donkey, yes, the second challenge is done, now it's your turn children, you may try first, and if you are done, let's go to number three, oh, number three, I have a blue fairy, can you help the fairy find Pinocchio? This is the fairy. All right, let's go to the right. Let's go to the right. Going down. Yes, I find Pinocchio. Number three. And the last one, children. Oh, can you help Pinocchio find the sweets? Okay, let's try. Up, down. Up, down. Hmm, where are the sweets? Oh. How if we go through this way? Oh, this is the dead end. Hmm, let's try another way. How about this way? Oh no, 
this is the dead end. I need to find different paths. Let's find different paths, children. Hmm. Let me think about it. Oh, I see. To the right. This is also problem solving. So maze or puzzle is good for you. If we go through this way. Hmm. Let's try. Don't go outside the line. Yes. To the left. Going down. Up. To the right. Yeah! I find the sweets. Now you may try for children with your finger. And if you find the way, you can take your pencil. All right. Now we have finished the lesson for today. So, what do you learn today, children? Today we learned the story about Pinocchio. Now, do you want to say bye bye to Pinocchio? Bye bye, Pinocchio, and see you again on the next video. Bye bye, children.